welcome to another episode of Your Time Matters. I am your host, Tamron, joining you here each week with a cup of delicious healthy tea. And there's just one magical ingredient inside my teacup this week. So I'm going to encourage you to stay tuned until the end as I share with you why I chose to put this tea in my cup to help me manage my emotional well-being based on what's currently happening in the astrological sky. As one of Canada's top certified astrologers and a certified health coach, I'm here to guide you and educate you about what is happening and how that might be showing up in our personal life and how it is that we might be feeling on an emotional level. Because this week we have the beautiful energy of the summer solstice happening, which is when we have that equal balanced energy between light and dark, you know, where the sun is out more during the day. And also we have the full moon happening in the astrological sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn is where the moon is. And then the exact opposite part of the sky is where the sun is sitting in the sign of cancer. Now, cancer is a water sign. Okay. And the moon in Capricorn is sitting in an earth sign. So this is where I encourage everyone to find the balance of being out in nature and also by being more water, because that's where the sun is sitting. She's sitting in the astrological sign of cancer. Now, cancer represents nurturing and being around family, right? And having that fun. And Capricorn is our career and our leadership and our public life. So I'm going to encourage you to embrace this energy and ask yourself an important question. How are you going to find the balance this summer between nurturing with your family, embracing that nurturing energy about increasing the amount of time with your family and how you can work effectively as well. And this is also, if you look at tradition, when many people book vacation time, right? They spend more time with their family and usually out in nature during this time. And even a lot of people spend time near water. So I'm going to encourage you to do so. Ask yourself how you're going to find that balance. And I'm going to encourage you to even write it down. Because remember, when we write anything down, it actually becomes alive because whatever we focus on expands. So by spending the time to not just think about something, but to actually write it down and plan it and give it a bit of a strategy. Sometimes that's when those plans actually come into fruition because you've taken the time to think about it and to process. So again, what I'd love to share with you is The tea that I'm putting in my teacup this week is lemongrass because lemongrass is that cleansing energy that we experience on the full moon energy. And I've added a dash of our honey, not only to enhance the flavor, but to give my immune system a little bit of a boost as well. And this is one of the beautiful herbal teas that I use pretty much around the full moon energy because of its cleansing and healing properties. So if anything is bubbling up for you emotionally during the full moon, remember it's not negative. You're just might more sensitive, especially with the sun sitting in that water element of the cancer sign, because that's an emotional element as well. And so she's bouncing her energy off to the moon and it comes back. So some of us tend to be a little bit more sensitive during even this specific full moon energy. So again, I am going to encourage you to come back again. If you've enjoyed the information that I've shared with you, I'm here next week for another episode of Your Time Matters. If you are a woman and you wanted to learn more information about astrology, maybe even some of the holistic wellness techniques that I talk about, or even the world of women in entrepreneurship that we are now experiencing in this true age of Aquarius energy, 
that we are in. I am so excited to be sharing with you that I have launched my latest creation to help support you, even if you don't want to be a certified astrologer, take the time to really just start learning some of these basic principles, especially about what the moon represents in astrology. Because when you understand the moon, you really start to understand a lot of what it is that I recommend and talk about all the time, because she's very, very fascinating. And there's some different layers of content and material, which might help you understand your emotional well-being and even some specific seasons that you seem to be going through in your life. And you can begin to learn all of that inside of my community by just registering for my newest creation that comes out on the new moon of every single month where it's a digital newsletter. So this newsletter is what you're going to receive and you're going to be able to open it up and flip through all of the 28 pages throughout the month. So it doesn't matter what time during the month, you're going to receive the information for this new moon energy that is occurring in the astrological sky. There's also an opportunity for you to listen to some of the interviews by my four sponsors of each month. And these are other powerful women who have opened their life to more of this woo-woo astrology, meditation, uh, intuitive abilities that many of us are starting to use, not only in our personal life, but also in our business. So there's an opportunity for you to listen to those interviews. They are sponsors. You can become a sponsor. You can be a part of my digital newsletter. Plus, also, there's some great contests and giveaways and free master classes that you can attend that are pre recorded each and every single month. And all of this information is inside of the digital newsletter that is now launched and available for every single person out there. If you just want to learn, again, all you have to do is click on the link below to just register. You will receive the this month's newsletter right away. You can click on it. I encourage you to open it in something bigger than a phone. You'll be able to read it on a phone. But again, if you have an iPad or you have a laptop, you're going to be able to see the content that much better and click on all the links as well. There's so much content in there. And again, there's some free contests where you can win a private astrology consultation with me and some other upcoming things that are going to be happening with our upcoming sponsors in the future months ahead. So again, I'm excited about this and it's an opportunity for you to learn and to connect with me inside of my community. And of course, you can share this with other women who you think might also want to find out more information. So I look forward to meeting you and remember to come back again for another episode of Your Time Matters.